It's UN Refugee Week, and I got to interview a refugee and asylum attorney, which was honestly so, so cool. The interview is going to be published on Rosetta Stone tomorrow on Refugee Day, and I'm going to be sharing it here, of course, so don't worry. But in the meantime, I wanted to bring your attention to something really, really troubling that I learned during our interview. So a few days ago, as the nation entered the third week of countrywide protests and the pandemic lingers with no end in sight, the Trump administration quietly proposed a new regulation that would basically upend the current asylum system. The proposed rule adds a significant number of restrictions to the refugee definition, which would make it nearly impossible for anyone to claim asylum. What do I mean by that? Okay, well first let's cover some basics because there is a difference between an immigrant, a refugee, and an asylum seeker, and this is important. Think of an immigrant kind of like the umbrella definition. It applies to anyone who enters the US and plans on staying like for good. For example, I am an immigrant. Now refugees and asylum seekers, they have the same legal definition. The only difference is where they physically are. So a refugee is someone who fled their country because of persecution and they've been granted refugee status by the international community and then entered the US with that status already. Now an asylee is somebody who's already in the US and they're saying, I can't go back to my country because I'll be persecuted if I do. Please give me protection and grant me refugee status. So now back to the news. This new regulation, which Trump claimed is intended to fight against fraudulent claims, it would create a whole bunch of new hoops for migrants seeking refuge in the US. It would change who qualifies for asylum, most notably victims of gender violence, meaning domestic violence and the LGBTQ community, as well as victims of any gang-related violence. None of them would be eligible anymore. It would also refuse asylum to anyone who stopped in an intermediary country on the way to the US. So basically this means you're either a Canadian or a Mexican who walked across the border, or you had a direct ticket to the US, no stops on the way. Now, it's not a big stretch to see that this is a clear target at Central American migrants who face some of the highest numbers of gang and gender violence in the world and who mostly reach the US via Mexico. I mean, let's be real here. They're not flying in first class from El Salvador, okay? They have to go through Mexico. But with this clever little law, that pit stop would disqualify them. This rule actually directly contradicts the Geneva Convention for Refugees, of which the US is a part of. But as we've seen in so many other cases, not just related to refugees and human rights, but broadly, unfortunately, there's not really many ways to hold the most powerful people accountable. The Trump administration has been slowly dismantling the asylum system piece by piece, so there is genuine reason for concern. But these new proposals have not been put in place yet, and fortunately there are lots of organizations and lawyers like the one whom I spoke with who are reviewing it and proposing comments, and so for now we're just gonna have to wait and see where this one goes. But stay tuned because it's really, really important stuff that we should all be vigilant of. And uh, tune in tomorrow for my interview with a refugee attorney who is on the front lines of this.